Good evening and welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. Well, we are back doing catamaran reviews. This time we're coming from the Annapolis Sailboat Show. And what we're looking for is a catamaran that is perfect for liveaboard purposes. Two episodes ago, we got a guided tour of the Balance 526 and that boat was awesome for liveaboard purposes. Then we moved down to the smallest boat that they offer, the 442, also very impressive. If you haven't seen them already, go back and check out those episodes. But this episode, we're gonna get a guided tour for a boat that I know very, very well. It's the X5 Plus. Now I spent eight weeks sailing an X5 from Cape Town, South Africa, all the way to Grenada. So I know this boat or its predecessor very, very well. I can also say that before I left Cape Town, I did do a tour of Phoenix Marine where they build the boat and the attention to detail and emphasis on quality was definitely apparent. And I'm gonna sound like a fanboy for this brand, but just so you know, I'm not paid by Phoenix Marine or Exquisite Yachts. I'm not affiliated in any way other than I do boat reviews. And this is one boat that I have extensive knowledge and sailing experience on, so I can attest to its capabilities as well as its uh, quality. And like I said, the boat I spent eight weeks on was the X5. This is now gonna be showcasing the X5 Plus, which they've done a lot of upgrades on, and they've actually shaved two tons in weight off of it. I'll let Tomas explain all of this, so let's get started. Okay, I'm coming aboard the X5 Plus here at the 2023 Annapolis Sailboat Show. And you'll recognize this face from when I did the transatlantic there with Tomas. He went from South Africa to Namibia with us. He's the founder and CEO of Exquisite Yachts, and he's going to tell us what's new about the X5 Plus over the one I went on, which was an X5. Nice to see you again, Tomas. Hi, Craig. Good to see you again. Thank you for coming. Uh, whew, a lot happened, so it's very hard to put everything a short video, but but I'll try my best. So it was how many years ago that was that we sailed together? It was three, three years, years, three years. Yeah. So that time we were only building one model, you know, in uh, the Phoenix Marine in Cape Town. Now, since then, we heavily invested in developing new models. And so we got to the point now that we're building in three factories around the world and we're building five models. We started to develop our sixth model right now. So at uh, the same time, we purchased our, our, our resort uh, in the Bahamas, which is became the exquisite Catamaran Center. Uh, it's very exciting news because that's now our service center where we commission the boats, train the owners, uh, do all the warranty repairs, uh, any upgrades or, or just regular maintenance, you know, scheduled maintenance. We do it ourselves on our boats instead of third party contractors. We have a nice restaurant there and the hotel as well going through renovation. So we're expanding and a lot is going on. And, and one of this, although not brand new thing that uh, uh, we upgrade the X5 to become the X5 Plus, it's already one boat of the year in 2022, this model. But as, as you know, exquisite, we never stop uh, developing new stuff. So what we're doing with the X5 Plus year after year, we're adding more features, new, newer features. Uh, for example, from next year, the X5 Plus also will be available with hybrid propulsion system, more lithium batteries, no more generator. We, we're changing the stern shape for adding a, a much nicer swim ladder with handrails to to much uh, uh, easier way to get out of the water with a bigger swim step. So it's a lot of things that we're doing from this year to next year. But let me show you first what we did from the X5 to the X5. Okay, class. perfect. Okay. So the main thing is really was all about performance. We're listening to the industry, we're listening to the feedback of our existing owners and and the trends, what everybody wants. And 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 an industry lot turns around more and more performance and and. Uh, with Phoenix Marine, we went through a year of engineering of every single component that's on the boat, weighted, and 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 find what components could be reduced, the weight reduced, and and it's very complex engineering because we already use you know foam core build and and foam core uh, uh, composite boards for our furniture, but we just went through every line items and wherever we could, we just say that it, it total came like two tons lighter build, two tons lighter, wow, which is which is huge. Yeah. Considering that half of the boat's weight is equipment that you cannot reduce the weight, you know, can change the, the fridge and the freezers and the and the water maker and the dishwasher and the washer dryer and the generator and all that. So there's a lot of things that's fixed. Uh, so we had to build a lot of the composites and other like reducing glass thickness, making smaller glass panels, you know, so many things. Uh, going to 24 watt. Next year we're going to 48 watts, reducing further wiring, more lithium batteries. So we try our we did our best in every way to reduce weight. It was pretty complex. And <clears throat> now, besides reducing the weight, 
we just completely revised the sail plan. And that's, that's uh, the combination of the two, the lighter weight boat and a much more powerful sail plan does the job. So our, we get the boat up in nice conditions, 80% of wind speed, which is for a luxury cruising boat is pretty decent. Great. It's pretty decent. So uh, let me walk around. You're mainly pointing out the, the changes. The changes, okay? yes. Yes. So Anybody can check out the previous reviews to see all that. We went through details when we went around that boat and at the show before. So just the changes from the last boat to this boat. So that Absolutely. So yeah. to start with, there's no more grill and no more propane, which we had out there before. Uh, due to the, uh, the more lithium batteries and more solar panels, uh, now we have an electric, completely electric cooking, which here in the cockpit, we moved the electric grill to a much more protected area, much more comfortable to use. And because it's electric, it is not much flame, no flame, so it's, it's pretty clean to work with. Uh, other new feature we started to offer, oops, it's Sorry. very windy today. <laughs> <laughs> it is, our decorations just blew away. <laughs> Sorry about it. So we started to offer this table on electric pedestals. So this becomes a large bed, uh, the same way as we already have the other side. So as you know, we can fully enclose the cockpit. So with the enclosure, you have a giant, enormous uh, lounging space. Or even when some occasionally yeah. family or friends visiting the boat, you have additional sleeping space because because of the enclosure, you can protect this area. That's completely. really nice. We yeah. use that many times on our passage. Yeah. I know, I know. So coming in here, let's start here changes. The tool cabinet and the fridge freezer is still the same. The TV got larger mm -hmm. uh, and now we put an electric uh, uh, the pedestal that comes up and turns as well. So you can turn it, yeah. even watch it from the from the galley during cooking. So that's a new feature. All electric cooking, this is also what we change now, is uh, induction cooktops. Uh, same with extraction hood, the, the, the electric oven and microwave and the dishwasher is the same. Just pop that open for a split second so they can see. Yeah, the, sure. There Here's, we go. There's, there's the dishwasher. dishwasher with it's, it. a, it's a Bosch. Very dishwasher. nice. Very nice. Yeah. I would just, I know people already know about this, but it's the star of the show, always our yeah. door, so I need to show that again. This is the crazy, crazy storage they've got. Like, that's insane. See, so we just put the whole coffee machine in there. <laughs> the whole coffee machine? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Let's close this. So, new features. Let me just quickly look around. What else? Oh, we're offering Starlink uh, satellite internet uh, connection, because that's kind of like a must now on every yeah. boat. And, and, and we had a boat going from from Galapagos to Marquesas, and I think more than halfway through, or two thirds of the way, they were streaming Netflix on the boat. Yes, it's unlimited pretty, data. Pretty amazing, Which is nice. obviously very safe. We added, uh, for example, these forward opening portholes, that's very important for ventilation. Yes. Uh, as well as communication with the uh, four deck lounging cushions. As you see, those cushions, that's also a new addition. You can hand through drinks through these portholes as well. What we also did a big change is we raised the headroom in the salon is much, much higher headroom. As you see, it's about three to four inches. Some areas we could came up uh, with the headroom. The other change we did, the electric uh, pedestals in the table. That's an option. Not everybody wants it, but uh, it works well for, for moving ice. As I said, you know, you can go convert a large bed and the TV, you can turn it at the different angles as you want it uh, to watch TV. We changed completely the headliner system, how we attach our headliner is a completely new system in, and, and very secure. We changed the windows before it was two very large windows, but because it was very large panes it had to be very thick. Mm -hmm. So in order to reduce the thickness and save weight, we just put smaller, smaller panels. And we offer a bunch of new collections of color choices. That's, that's also new. So a wide range of customization. We've changed to 24 volt DC air cons, uh, so we can run all the cabins now off the batteries, right. uh, easily overnight air conditioning without generator. Next year, when we're doing the hybrid and the 48 volt, then we're switching to 48 volt DC air cons. Nice yeah, much yeah, more pretty... efficient and very quiet. I'm just thinking what's new here beside, I mean, we did some changes of the headliners, of course, that's a, a, a change. Uh, 
we started to use the Yacht router, which is a Wi-Fi cellular booster, much uh, better than the one we used in the past. But obviously Starlink is not even that important anymore, but it's, it's, it's a redundancy of systems. So you have cellular, uh, Wi-Fi extender, and as well as Starlink. Nice. You can order now this area, either a desk, as we had before, like a dressing table, or more storage. Mm -hmm. A cool feature on this boat, for example, right. it's right here. I'm going to show you, it's a custom request. You put in a, a wine cabinet oh, here, very nice. a little drink cabinet. This little water lines keeps it pretty cool yeah. without having to uh, run a, a power hungry <laughs> fridge little hole. for the drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here, I think the only change we did is the the wardrobe is the you. same. Sorry. Yeah, I'll get that. And one. here's the same. The, the only thing we I'll just showed them this because this is a lot of storage. I know if they didn't catch the previous one, this is the owner side, and there is a ton of storage for clothes on this side. Yeah, the only change we did that uh, we managed to figure out a way how to vent the dryer because uh, but it's a washer dryer combo. And people complained the non-vented version was not not uh, drying properly. So we managed to vent it, and now it works uh, uh, proper. Okay. Other cabin, I should we can go there, but but I don't think there's anything uh, changed. Just in case somebody. Yeah, sure. So we're going to the uh, guest side now. There are no major changes here just tiny little improvements you know we improved a little bit uh, on the shower door system we put a little fiddle up here uh, uh, to, to keep stuff up there books or anything you put up there what we're putting now new usb-c connectors everywhere this one still has the the b type but we're putting now usb-c USB -C across the board yeah, yeah. so, so there's a lot of little changes as we're going on you know i go to the mats trade show in amsterdam every year it's a marine equipment trade show and and just shopping you know what's the coolest what's latest and yeah. we right away we implemented next year production so the x5 plus is always you, you our clients know that they always got the latest and newest technology That's available cool. yeah. You can just look in the other guest cabin. Yeah. I don't think there's any changes. So this is the four peak guest cabin. Still very nice, similar, uh, lots of storage and also with the control panel back here behind the liners. But you obviously don't see that it's a much lighter built boat. Yeah. It's much faster, but I can show it to you outside the new sail plan. Okay. Oh, you maybe want to mention that, controlling everything from the iPad. Yeah, I mean, this is also, I mean, not new, it's just evolved a bit more, the Season Digital Switching System, because yeah. uh, Masterbot is Season owned by the same company, so they, they the networking works really well, uh, reading the, the so data. So you control all the systems and lights from an iPad, which is included in the boat, like you don't... It's okay. standard on every yeah. boat. For example, you go galley lights, you see how much it's drawing, it's half amp right now. If you want to dim it, you can just dim it oh, wherever so you cool. want it. Then you have monitor all the batteries, the solar chargers, inverters, all the tanks, water tanks, fuel tanks, black that's, water that's tanks. Great. You can pump fuel, transfer fuel from here. So when you're fueling up at the fuel dock, you just take the iPad with you and you start filling up. You know exactly where you are. You can pump to the other side. You don't have to bring the hose over to the other side. Most of these things are or, I mean, we had it already on the X5 a long cool. time ago. And, yeah. it, and it works really, really well. We, we, we don't even have any issues really with, with the Yeah, software resources. changes, but it's, the idea is great. No, they keep yeah. it up to date. So, the helm, let's go. And hopefully the wind noise isn't too much, but I got yeah. wind muffs, so. We added more handrails, handholds all around the boat. That was feedback from our own, own customers that where would they put more handrails. The big changes are here. Uh, so what we did now, the X5 had two head sails. Now we went for three head sails. And uh, this is a game changer because before upwind, you could only use the self tacking jib and then was a reacher. But for that, you needed to go a little more open angles. Now we kept the self tacking jib because that's a storm jib. It works really well. You can self tack from sitting inside the salon and rough weather. You don't even have to come out, get wet or, or, or even touch a line. So we kept the self tacking jib. We added the Genoa. So now we have a proper large uh, uh, upwind sail. And, uh, uh, and added a third head sail, which is a coat sail. So now we, which is much larger than, than uh, our reacher sail was before. So meaning we pumped up big time the sail area. 
the other change is now that all three head sails are electric on electric furlers and it's standard so you have a, a jeep furler a genoa furler and also a coat sail furler now the coat sail is on a top-down furler and and in order to to assist you with with furling it so you see how you're furling it because it's very high up we have an 80 foot mast we added a camera on top that that uh, you don't see of the sail is not out now but if the if the coat sail would be out now you would see exactly how it's furling so it's very helpful also helpful for, for docking the boat yes uh, uh, you see every all four corners the other feature we did new is the carbon fiber boom with the in boom furling mainsail it's a nice piece of carbon also the mandrel inside is carbon fiber and we added an additional camera to that so if you see here this camera shows uh, exactly how you're furling so you know that the angle of your boom to the mast is is, is correct because you see exactly how you're furling and you can make adjustments while you're furling so everything's still designed that one person single-handedly can sail the boat that's why the three hat sails as well not just to boost performance but also now you can go down in the uh, uh, you go wing and wing with the with the, the general and the and the coat sail instead of having to fly a parasailer we still offer that as an option if somebody wants a fifth sail on the boat we can do that but for a single-handed sailing although you, you lose a little performance versus a, a parasailer going wing and wing but much safer because you're alone there middle of the night the squall is coming electric furler just furling your coat sail and then you go through the squall yeah, that's great. it's much easier than dealing with a with a with a parasailer with you need two people yeah. at least two experienced people to fly that and, and to take it down other changes here let me just think besides the electric furlers maybe the storage area up here it's it's uh, you know for loose items ipad books uh, cup holders a wireless phone charger is built in there as well so you don't need to plug in your phone okay what else this is still the same you can fully enclose it and then uh, or, or, or or take it down uh, as a convertible car top so that's the same here you can see the satellite dishes there is the the starlink this boat also has kva so layers of redundancy if one system's down the other is up and how much solar does this boat have on it 2.3 kilowatt that's good yeah i'm going to mess to see if there is any any improvements on solar because we started the same footprint because it's molded into our coach roof. right and, and originally we started 130 watt panels now the safe footprint became 150. Now these panels are 190 watts, but it also quite a few years now. So let's see if, if we can get better. 200 at least. Exactly, right? a little bit more, but we 12 panels, it makes a difference. Even if it's, you know, uh, uh, just like 20, 30 watts per panel, that adds up with the 12 panels. And the, the front of the Dodger's glass too? Something yeah, that it's all, all real glass and it's automotive glass. So you see these ceramic borders. Mm -hmm. So it protects the, the, the caulking behind. So this absolutely doesn't have any sunlight because because even UV stable caulking after a while, you know, degrades in the tropical sun. Right. And it takes, takes some years, but it does. So now it's protected. One cool feature that I really like is our new exquisite logo. That I'm sure you see, but it's a little 3D logo. It's just... It's just aesthetics, but yeah. I really like it. And they have one down there that lights up inside yeah. the uh, cockpit. Too. So here you see the glass, also again with the ceramic borders. And you see now that it's four separate pieces. So we could make it, it's tempered glass, but it was much, uh, much uh, uh, thinner than what we had before and much lighter. The, the hard handrails are nice. It's yeah. still the same. Yeah, the handrails, we changed the, the Tow rail? The tow rail, yeah, we had stainless before. It was a lot of polishing and maintenance. So we just uh, like hold it in, it's not fiberglass. There's also handrails up here too, yeah. everywhere to grab, so that's great. Love this sunshade idea. Quite windy, but opa, now you see here the, the this lounging space. We created it in a way that, that it can stay up when you're sailing. So unless you're beating into 30 knots of wind, mm -hmm. you can you can leave this up here. So it's, that's why it's made like in a way you can get to the lockers underneath and still open without having to oh, remove cool. the Oh, cool, without having to take the questions out. Yeah, I, I sail a boat a lot here. Even when at night sailing, I like to be out here with the iPad. You can control the boat. You see radar, AIS, everything. Just sitting out here, perfect visibility. On nice uh, nights, it's very, I really like it.
So you the, see uh, all the 12 panels recessed, and as, as if you remember, our boats, besides that we supply water maker as standard, the entire coach roof becomes rainwater collectors, and on both sides we can collect the rainwater. You see this shade, this is also, uh, it's not new really, but we, we, we offered it standard now on all on Oh, boats. really? That's nice. I love because we have the speakers up on the mast, yeah. so you can have this lounging space here with the shade uh, and controlling the music up, uh, you know, uh, that's up above your head. Now I can say from my experience, that speaker can get loud. <laughs> so you can see here now the new layout that it's electric furlers, uh, also for the jib. Genoa and the coat sail has an electric pad eye. So you see there's a motor in there and that's oh, the electric yeah, yeah. pad eye. So they connect the, the, the coat sail top down furler onto this and you just push up a button and you can control it from the helm. Maybe I show you a little bit in the aft cockpit okay. and, then, and then the engine rooms. Yeah. Here, uh, most of the option people take is the scuba compressor and tanks yes so you sure. can go right off diving just nice. fill up the tanks in the storage locker and go off diving right here this is you know the backrest you can adjust it at different angles if you want to be laying out here uh, electric davis with the radio remote control overhead rain shower that's not new a lot of people copied us already <laughs> with that idea yeah. and let me show you the engine rooms quickly So if you remember, we have uh, this uh, very nice soundproofing, which is not just on the lid, but all around the entire engine room. So we have a very quiet boat. You see that every hose clamps, every nut and bolt on the boat has a, a quality control torque mark uh, that it was checked for proper tightness. Now, uh, what we're doing is the adding between the, between the, we move the sail drive aft and add an electric motor between the engine and the sail drive on next year's production. So obviously you don't have it here now, but that will be the that hybrid is... solution. It, it will, will be 20 kilowatts, work as a 20 kilowatt generator. Each side? On each side. So it's wow. 40 kilowatt uh, generating power and also acts as an electric motor. So when your diesel is off, you can, you can run your boat on electric. For maneuvering, slow, slow island hopping, you can do it pure electric. But the, most, the feature I like most is the sail assist mode. So imagine when you're sailing and it's very, very, very little wind or you want to go very close to the wind. But now with the general, you can go 35 degrees apparent. So it's very close to the wind. You can sail the boat. Uh, but with the electric motors, you just pump them a very tiny little bit, assisting the boat, you know, uh, 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 assisting sailing. And you can point higher up. You go much, much faster. Well, so in, in motor sailing, practically, in knowing when light wind conditions. It's very helpful. When you're motoring with one diesel, the other side's not used. That is producing electricity because you're going through the water? You could perfectly do that as well. Yeah. So one diesel is, is running your prop, but also charging you know, the, uh, uh, the batteries. And then the other side, you run it off the batteries electric. You can do that as well. Yeah. Cool. Which you reduce is the maintenance hour. The, the hours, running hours on the diesel has the maintenance as well. These electric motors, if you're sailing, you have, there, there's a setting to hydro generate power? Unfortunately, we don't have that yet. Okay. We, we, we're, working on that? we're working on it. That's why I'm heading to the Max Trade Show. It's like three weeks from now, so I'm very excited about that. That'd be that. very cool. Yeah. So other thing we're doing now, and I'll, I'll just later send you a link to show you how it works, or maybe I saw it I'll in put my it in the computer. Yeah. We're putting, a, we changed the, the, uh, the shape of the, the last step. So we're raising that to, to a lot. This will be a much larger step area to have that nice uh, uh, swim ladder with uh, handrails. Oh, and nice. I'll, I'll show it to you and maybe you can add it. Yeah, I'll it. put it in the video description okay. the link so you're okay. talking about. So I think these are most of the changes. We pumped up also the, the sound system. So you have, we have four speakers here, four speakers in the salon, a subwoofer, and obviously the two bow speakers and the mast facing down. So for entertainment, it's fun. Uh, we changed, uh, like, for example, all the cabinetry. I just remembered that, so you might have to edit it somewhere in. We changed the cabinetry, so the lock is a different one. Okay. Before we had push buttons. Now these locks is easy, just one motion. Yeah, one motion. motion and out. We it. also changed uh, the hinges and uh, the drawer slider, so now it's all soft close uh, 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 mechanism. So we upgraded every little thing that we 
we found and, and could upgrade, we do that every year. It is, yeah. Very nice. Okay. So one of the biggest uh, uh, feature, or I don't even know how to call it, that why XVisit is renowned for is our after sales service. And, mm -hmm. and we were very good at that in before, now we get taking it to the next level. So so it's it's a very complex deal. That's the reason actually we bought this resort in the Bahamas. So that it's a marina and service center. That was the main goal. The hotel and the restaurant just an addition. But but the more main goal was uh, to have a proper service center where we can service all our boats. We have a station there. All our our, our very highly trained technicians. So how our after sales works? First of all. We, we don't deliver the boat to the customer right away when we launch it. First, we try to, you know, test sail and beat the boat up and, and, and go through with the checklist over and over again to make sure that everything works. Then after that, when we deliver the boat to the customer, or we commission it, we clean it up. So when the owner comes, it's a, it's a nice first impression. And then our training captain stays with the owners two weeks standard, two weeks on board wow. training to go teach, you know, go through everything, how all, all the systems are, it's a very complex boat and and uh, and uh, uh, anchoring, docking, maneuvering, as well as every single system and user manuals go through real life, how everything was the proper maintenance of the system. After that, when, when the owner starts their, their sailing on their own, they have uh, our concierge service. So uh, mostly what breaks on these boats, 90% is, is third party components. It's not what the builder not builds. It's, it's engines, generator, water maker, air conditioning, uh, et cetera. So what happens, most builders, when you have an engine problem, they send you to the engine manufacturer to deal with them. And you end up with 200 different contacts in your phone. And when you're traveling around the world, it, it doesn't help you. So what we do, you only have one number, even an app uh, 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 for after sales service, exquisite after sales, and we help you sort out any third party issues. We cannot give you a warranty on, 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 an, on something that we did not manufacture, but we give you the service that you don't have to deal with them. We deal with them for you and we use our leverage uh, uh, with our suppliers that, that if they don't respond to our warranty requ request, then we, we, we change suppliers and right. here. You got a lot of clout. Exactly. Yeah. So we, we're trying to help our customers with that. And also, it's not just during the warranty period, which is with us is two years as opposed to the industry standard one year. Okay. Uh, but it's two years. And after that, we still keep offering that service or any maintenance or any repairs to all the exquisite owners. We just start charging for it, right. which any third party contractor would. Right. But in our case, at least you have technicians that, that are exquisite trained and know the know your boat so, inside out. So why would you do it with somebody else yeah. if you can do it with us? Even after that comes, uh, uh, so we go from cradle to grave with the boat. So the whole whole lifespan of the boat, we are there for the owners, not just for the first owner. So it's when time comes to upgrade, some of our owners, like the owner of this boat, just upgraded to our 60 and uh, we trade in the boat. So he doesn't, he does not need to think about the headaches of selling a used boat. We just literally take it back mm. from him as, as part of the payment towards his new boat. And then we resell the boat in a certified pre-owned program which is also quite unique because we uh, uh, resell all most exquisites uh, 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 second hand go through us, uh, which is a peace of mind for, for the owners, both the seller and the buyer, because uh, our technicians go through each used boat, doesn't matter how old these boats are, but uh, you know, some of our boats, our first boat already did one and a half circumnavigation already. And, and even that boat, we, we sold it in certified pre-owned program. So our technicians go through the boat completely detailed, make sure everything works, service everything on the boat. And we sell the used boat to the new owner with 90 days overall warranty. Every, obviously by that time, everything is out of warranty, but we give 90 days overall. So even if you, your engine seizes up or whatever happens, it's on us for the first 90 days. Mm -hmm. And also one week long onboard training. So for new boats, it's two weeks onboard training. For, for, for our certified pre-owned boats, it's one week onboard training. Obviously, it can be extended if the owner would like to. We just start charging for it. So we offer lots of lots of services, which are included with the new boats in the warranty period, and then and then becomes a paid service. That's great. That's good because, like I said, the parts you probably would already have at your Bahamas service center. So it's not like you're waiting months for a part that needs to be back ordered. You probably have a lot of the stuff. Exactly, in hand. And, and our guys know what they're doing, so so they could potentially do a, a job that a third-party contractor would take three hours. He might be able to do it in one. 
right. because we know exactly where to go, what to do, and having the parts. Perfect. So, so we're trying to build this up uh, uh, to become more worldwide as well. So Bahamas is our home base, but now that we have a factory in in uh, Portugal as well. Uh, we have a, a, a partner now in Alicante, Spain, for the Mediterranean because we have some boats there. Obviously, there's uh, South Africa as well. So, so we're trying to build this up uh, to be more global. And and we still fly our technicians worldwide. We just had a technician in Fiji servicing one more boat. So, yeah. so we still do that. That's I think the, our service after service so is unmatched in the industry. Yeah, I do. that's and that's not something you see by looking at a boat. You have to, you know, experience it. I experienced it when I did my crossing. And uh, the after sale services, what what you can't really see, but you when you know it, it gives you peace of mind. I think it's it's coming from our own experiences. Uh, you you already know that that my wife and I we sailed around the world for eleven years. Everything happened to us over those times, and 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 we always we knew exactly what kind of service is what we would like to have as cruisers. Now, when we started Exquisite Yachts, we're trying to give that service now to our own boat buyers and cruisers. But we always wanted to have, but never had. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Well, thank you very much, Tomas. So, this was a great tour to show you what the additions and improvements have been since the one I went on, which was an X5. This is now the X5 Plus. Thanks a lot, Tomas. Thank, well, you, very much. thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, what's not to like about the Exquisite X5? Just so much built into this boat. You heard him say, come standard, come standard, come standard. It's amazing how many features that every other boat builder would consider an option that you have to pay extra for come standard on this boat. The quality is second to none in my experience. Their after sales service is second to none for sure. When we were on our thing, we got to Namibia and the water maker was acting up. They flew a technician to Namibia to help fix our water maker. We got out away from Namibia. We were at St. Helena Island, which is the most remote island in the middle of the South Atlantic. Watermaker was still causing us issues. They flew the chief engineer out to St. Helena Island to fix permanently our water maker. It's not their fault that the water maker wasn't working. It, a lot of builders would have said, call the water maker manufacturer because it's a warranty through them, but not exquisite. They make sure that you have the least amount of headaches possible. And now that they have that new Bahamas service center, definitely if you're in the Caribbean, you head yourself over there and they'll be able to diagnose, fix, and get all the parts quickly. And like he says, they have some leverage with these suppliers of fridges and solar uh, generators and all these other things that if it's acting up for you, they'll make sure it gets fixed uh, promptly. Now I'm a techie at heart and this boat has a lot of technology built in. I just love that idea of taking the iPad and have, being able to control everything on your boat. Go sit on the front cushions when you're on watch and just check everything, your AIS and all that from the iPad while you're lounging on the front of the boat. That is super cool. You can even tack your boat from there if you've got the self-tacking jib, which is would be just a hoot. I would love that. Uh, next thing I'm excited though is on the next series of boats when they get into the hybrid electric. I'd love to do a test sale of that. So Tomas, if you're listening, you know, hit me up. You know how to get a hold of me. Let's get me out there and filming a test sale with that new hybrid propulsion. Now, if I had to complain about one thing, it's more of a Janus complaint than a my complaint, is Janus doesn't want to have a bed that's wall to wall where you can't get out on the side. She doesn't want to bum scoot out the foot of the bed every time she gets up in the middle of the night to go to the washroom. And unfortunately, even in the owner's cabin, you always have wall to wall on this boat. The only way to get around it, because this boat doesn't have super wide hulls, which you don't want because you want it to be able to sail well. The only way to get a walk around bed is to do an athwart ship bed like we saw on the balance. Uh, both of them actually, the 526 and the 442. So yeah, that would be my only thing is let's get some athwart ship bed somewhere in here where you can actually have a three-sided axis. Other than that, I can't think of another thing I would complain about on this boat. Uh, so there you go. Not ticking all the boxes, but pretty close. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode and the guided tour of what the new X5 Plus has. Definitely an aspirational boat, giving this two thumbs up again. And if you found this useful, show the channel some love by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for more boat reviews in the future. And until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising. Yeah.